Hi everybody, my name is Joel and this is Rob and we are here today to tell you about Ash Wednesday, which is tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. yes. At Ash Wednesday we receive the imposition of ashes as well as celebrate the Lord's Supper. And so one of us will be placing ashes on your forehead in the sign of the cross and offering the Ash Wednesday words. That's a weird tradition. It is a weird tradition. Yes. Why do we do that? It's an excellent question. Rob, why do we do that? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, part of the reason we do it uh, is because in ancient Israel and indeed throughout the ancient church, ash was a sign of a few things. Uh, ashes was a sign of grief and so when uh, say a widow would mourn the loss of her husband she would cover herself in ash mm -hmm. it was a sign of her pain her grief but ashes were also a sign of penitence mm -hmm. or repentance uh, signaling um, that you are sorry for something that you're changing your ways and so the ancient church uh, used ash in these ways and we continue to recognize ashes, in particular at the beginning of Lent, uh, as a sign or a symbol of our need for God. We recognize that to live and to live life fully, we need God holding mm -hmm. a central place in our lives. Uh, we grieve uh, the way in which um, sin gets in the way of our ability to live the life God is calling us to live. Mm -hmm. uh, and so Ash Wednesday is a recognition of, uh, in many ways, kind of the distance between uh, the lives we lead and the life God calls us to live, and the ashes kind of are a symbol for that. And so Ash Wednesday is a great opportunity to start our Lenten journey. Mm. Um, as we journey with Jesus to Good Friday and ultimately to Easter. And so we invite you to our Ash Wednesday service tomorrow night at 7 o'clock in the sanctuary. And if you cannot make it tomorrow night at 7 o'clock, I will be here bright and early tomorrow morning uh, from 7 to 8. Come to the chapel door as well as at lunch from 12 to 1 o'clock right. where you can receive the imposition of ashes um, from me. It is uh, a very intentional way to enter into the Lenten season, and Joel, I'm grateful that you're the one who's going to wake up early and uh, <laughs> offer it to everybody tomorrow morning. We'd love to see you tomorrow morning at lunch or um, uh, at night at our 7 o'clock service. See you soon.